2012 question 5 part B this is a standard part uh, a U value question where you're being asked using the U value you've got obtained in part A calculate the cost of heating loss annually in this floor now standard information that you're giving is the area the temperature inside and outside and then the time period in which you're heating the house for and then the cost of oil also you're always given the calorific value per litre of oil and you're also told that a thousand watt is equal to one kilojoule per second now to start off this question we we'll use the information obtained in part a so the information obtained in part A is U value is equal to 0 0.703 watts per meter squared degree Celsius. The next information we'll use is we'll use a formula for calculating the cost. So the cost formula is as follows. Cost is equal to T which is time multiplied by rate multiplied by area multiplied by price all divided by one thousand multiplied by the calorific value now so in the question the rate is equal to the u value multiplied by temperature difference area is quite standard price should be changed into into euros always change the price into euros so change from cents to euros so that you get your answer in euros now time the time period to calculate out the time period everything gets changed to seconds so to do this in the question you place seconds multiplied by minutes multiplied by hours multiplied by days multiplied by weeks Now, the next step is we start inputting our information. So we go with cost equals. So the time in this question would be 60 seconds multiplied by 60 minutes multiplied by 12 hours, because it says in the question 12 hours multiplied by seven days multiplied by 40 weeks so it says the heating period is 40 weeks now put all this information in brackets the next stage this here is multiplied by the rate so the rate is the u value so we have used the bracket again so the u value is 0 0.703 multiplied by the temperature difference so the temperature difference in this question is internal temperature is 20 degrees the external temperature in the subsoil is 5 degrees so the difference between the two of them is 15 degrees so we place 15 into our bracket here now next it's multiplied by the area so in this question you're told the area 
in this question is 9 meters by 7 meters so that's the dimension of the floor area so if we multiply two of them together so 9 multiplied by 7 close brackets and then we multiply this by the price in euros so the price in this question for the aisle on this particular year was 85 cent so to change that into euros it will be 0 0.85 so now all of this is an over line so it's 1000 multiplied by the calorific value of oil which is standard 37,350 now this is all of the information the last part is to calculate it all out and the best tip in calculating this out is to do it in sections so we calculate the time period first so the time period is 60 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 40 now you have to include the 7 the 7 goes for 7 days if you leave out the 7 days you're only calculating for 40 days rather than 40 weeks so the answer we have there is one two zero nine six zero 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 so if we put in commas here what you have there is twelve million and twelve million and ninety six thousand seconds so that's the time period that the oil has been on or the heating has been on for now we multiply that by the rate so the rate then is your u value so point seven oh three multiplied by the temperature difference the answer we get to that is 10 so again three decimal places for all of these so close brackets again now the area is 9 by 7 which is 63 close our brackets and then our 0 0.85 that's our viewers now underneath the line then if we have our 37 35 0 and then to multiply it by a thousand which would mean add three knots onto it so we have 37 million 350 thousand underneath the line now the next step is to put all this information again into the calculator So we have twelve million ninety-six thousand multiplied by ten point five four five multiplied by sixty-three multiplied by point eight five. So the answer we're getting there again a huge figure so that answer then is divided by 37 million so if we divide our answer by our 37 million 350,000 the answer we're ending up with is 182 and this time it's two decimal places because we're dealing with euros so what it is 88 cents so to write this in euros, so you've 182 euros and 88 cents. And that's the answer to the question. So that's how much it's going to cost true heat loss in this floor.